Hello friends and welcome back to Amir's Allotment. In this episode I want to talk to you about sowing sweet peas. Sweet peas are a very colourful flower and they're highly fragrant and they flower all through summer into early autumn and they're one of my favourites. And now is actually not too late to sow your sweet peas. In fact I find that my spring and early summer sown sweet peas do better than the ones that I sow over winter. So let's get sewing. I don't think an allotment or a garden in summer is fulfilled if you don't have sweet peas in it because they are my favourite. I love sweet peas. They're colourful flowers, love the fragrance and the fact that you can pick them and the more you pick, the more flowers that just keep coming all summer long. My favourite. And we all have different techniques as well. I'm just sharing some of my tips and what I do is I soak my seeds at least 24 hours before I sow them. The variety that I'm sowing here is a variety called Old Fashioned and um, it's lovely because yeah, it's, it's like a, a traditional sweet pea mix. Um, lots of different colours on the, the plants and they're, they're lovely. This is what I really like about sweet peas is all the colours that you get. And um, I know a lot of gardeners, we all have different approaches when it comes to, to sowing sweet peas. But um, one thing that I do recommend always is that do something that would ensure that you get a nice strong root system and this is why you will see very often on YouTube if you're looking at other gardeners as well is that they will often sow their sweet peas in root trainers. If you don't have root trainers then I suggest these tall disposable cups because it gives the plant a nice opportunity to to grow a nice long root system and that would always help it because healthy roots equals healthy plants and I do find especially with sweet peas when it comes to transplanting them when they have a nice strong root system you're guaranteed success with flowering if you plant them in something like this which is a smaller pot what I find is in my experience is that the roots are just not strong enough and the plants just appear a lot more weaker and sometimes don't thrive as those with a stronger root system. So this is why I use these plastic cups and what I make sure that I do is pierce some holes at the bottom for drainage and they're perfect. And the benefit of also using cups like this is that they're transparent so you can actually see the roots through them and that's really encouraging as well because you would literally see within a few days the seed sprouting and uh, you can see how they develop in the actual cup. So this is my tip, is, is try and use these type of, of cups. Taller cups, the better, and um, you can reuse them as well sometimes. I know with some plastic disposable cups, they do go a little bit brittle So if you left them outdoors, but if you keep them indoors, you can usually reuse them as well. So we'll leave these sweet peas now to relax and have a little bit of a soak and we'll come back tomorrow. So our sweet peas have been soaking nicely, ready now to be sown. So here we go. The water has been drained out and they've increased in size compared to the way they were when they first came out of the packet. So they do swell. Only 24 hours will be fine. If you want to sow them for a little bit longer, that's fine. But 24 hours should be fine before you start sowing them. And what I'm going to do is pop in three sweet peas per cup. That's it. It is really such a pleasant morning. No rain, no wind. It's a little bit overcast, but the birds are happy, chirping away.
you can always add a little bit more compost on the top if you need to. Once these plants start growing and they get to about 8 to 10 inches, they're usually ready to be planted outside. Some gardeners you will see will pinch the tops of the sweet peas. You can do that. It helps encourage side shoots and the plants will get more bushy. I occasionally will do that with my sweet peas. I do it with my dahlias as well. And... Um, the next step after that as well is just to make sure that um, if you've got three in a pot, just don't let them get too long because otherwise they can sometimes get quite tangled as well. And that's another reason why sometimes people prefer pinching them out when the plants are quite small so that they don't start growing all over the place. But I do find that, yeah, once they're about eight to ten inches, they'll be perfect for going outside all my teepees ready at my allotment and then um, I have all the string around my bamboo teepees and then yeah ready to to literally get these in so I can't wait as soon as these are ready they'll go straight out onto my allotment and I will be planting them I'm hoping to do a few more teepees than I did last year what did I do last year I did two um, this year if I can do more that will be great what I also sometimes do as well so that you get a bit of a succession sowing going on is I'll soak the seeds again and when I transplant these out in my allotment what I will do is cover them all in a nice sprinkling of compost and then I'll direct sow some more seeds. I just find that that also helps because then you'll get some direct sown sweet peas as well and it will really make those teepees really fill out really nicely as well. So you'll get continued flowers i mean the more you pick with sweet peas the more sweet peas you pick the more that they they keep flowering which is nice but you can also get a bit of a succession sowing going on by direct sowing some i again call that my insurance policy but sometimes i really do find that 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 works and it is just just great to to see because yeah sweet peas do well direct sown as well the only important consideration with sowing direct is be mindful of any pests like rodents that might steal your peas thanks for watching friends i hope you enjoyed this short one i will regularly post some short videos like this of what i'm sowing but for now it's goodbye